It is Saturday morning during Valentine's Day weekend and it's what it's like 10 a.m. and my usual routine on the weekends these past few weekends this year is to get up work out before I get started on anything for the entire weekend I have been working out a lot more lately and it's just making me feel you know refreshed energized and stronger and I'm really happy with the routine that I've built so about to work out and my lovely husband is actually going to be joining me today in my workout um, we've been working out together pretty often which makes me happy and uh, yeah let's let's get this let's get this weekend started okay That was a killer. I didn't realize today was cardio day, but we got through it. And uh, now I'm ready for the weekend. But I'm, I'm tired, y'all, I'm tired. That was a new cardio workout that I haven't done yet. So my body was shell-shocked in the moment. Um, right now about to hop in the shower. And then um, we're gonna go run a few errands and get back and set up for our very romantic Valentine's Day dinner later, which I'm really excited to share with y'all. So, whew. I'm tired. Let's get it. <sighs> oh, open house for this building? Mm -hmm. I guess I just finished it. Mm -hmm. Headed out to run our errands. Just took a shower. I took a shower and I decided to wash my hair. My hair was looking too crazy and you know, I want to look cute for dinner tonight for my man. So I washed it, did my usual wash and go. Um, I figured you have seen enough of my hair videos to know exactly what I did. Just a traditional wash and go. Um, and I did a middle part, so I'm gonna let it air dry and see um, how it ends up looking later on in the evening. Yeah, we out and about. makeup is baking. <laughs> Chef Lauren and Chef Brianna are here and they are gonna serve us up something delicious. Um, obviously, I'm running behind as always. Um, you saw what we were doing this morning and now it's time to get glam and get the house kind of glam and have some delicious food. I'm really excited to see what you all have in store. Chef Lauren and Chef Brianna are in here 
cooking it up. The aromas right now are insane. I'm really excited. I don't know what they're making because it's all the surprise, but I'm starting to get a little glimpse of what's going on in the kitchen and it looks really, really good. So I'm gonna pan over to Chef Lauren over here. Hello! <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to learn how to do this because the amount of oysters that I eat. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. These are beautiful. They're big. Yeah, they are. But I, and I actually even asked for the smaller ones too. Because sometimes the bigger ones they are harder to open. Gotcha. So um, they're, they were they're my size. Acid that you get at the end. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I love the combination of sweet and savory. Yes. The only thing I hate about the cooking shows with the judges is that they like they go like this with the food, like. Oh yeah. And they're like, they just taste like a, a tiny bit, and then they, I don't know. I'm just like, eat it like yeah. regular. <laughs> but for me to always hold it because I clean the plates and everything. Yeah. Have roasted celery root as the main focus of the salad, some baby greens, watermelon radish, um, spiced pepitas, mm. um, and a spicy honey Dijon vinaigrette that I made myself. And funny enough, I actually added, um, to add some of the spice, I used a pepper jelly that I got from Erica and Jason. Oh! Their <laughs> nanny makes the best. <laughs> pepper jelly ever and she made me a jar because oh. one day I was there and I'm like Erica you gotta get me some of this pepper jelly yeah. so she was like oh Christina made you some so I actually put some of that in my vinaigrette and that like tightened up the oh, nice. it, it, you, it, it, it served as the sweetness and the the heat and okay. I also added a little bit of the smoked chili paste as well uh -huh. um, so it, it helped I didn't have to add any honey typically when I make a quick vinaigrette I use honey mustard um, honey mustard uh -huh. oh, apple cider vinegar and olive oil mm -hmm. and I shake it up and that's just like my quick thing and I'll put like some fresh thyme but in this case I omitted the honey and added that pepper jelly so I'm like because I wanted it to be a, have a little kick mmm okay love a little kick and there is more bread here crumbles if you wanted to like use them as croutons or have them to like dip into the dressing mm -hmm. I just didn't want to um, I don't like to for picture sake I don't like to have the same thing on the plate right 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 <laughs> Thank you. 